Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we're going to try and answer the question that most of you probably have, and that question is whether or not the new Apple AirPods are worth it. There's no doubt that the AirPods are a bit on the pricey side, coming in at $159 for what looks like the free EarPods you get with your iPhone, but without the cord. So in this video, we're going to try to find out if the AirPods are really worth the price, or if there are better and cheaper options available. Jumping right into the unboxing, of course it's a typical Apple experience. Everything is neatly packaged with the information guide sitting right on top, followed by the charging case with the AirPods already inside them, and underneath it all you'll find a lightning cable to charge your AirPods. Charging is super simple, just plug the cable right into the bottom of the charging case with the AirPods inside of course. Jokes aside, from a design standpoint the AirPods look a little bit silly. But personally, I love the fact that Apple kept the same design as their earpods because they're the only in-ear headphones that I actually use. They never fall out and they are super comfortable. Now of course this is all subjective, but if you like the way the earpods fit in your ear, then you'll love the way these airpods feel. Connecting them is super easy. With Apple's new W1 chip that we saw earlier in the new Beats lineup, all you need to do is simply turn your phone on and pop open the lid. As long as those AirPods are inside the case and they're close to your phone, it should automatically recognize them and then with one tap, connect. For those wondering, yes, these can be paired with other devices via Bluetooth, so if you don't have an iPhone or any Apple product for that matter, but you still want a pair of AirPods, you can still use them with no problems. You may, however, be missing out on some features like Siri and iCloud syncing. Obviously, in order to sync with iCloud, you have to have a few Apple devices, but once you connect your AirPods to your iPhone, they are available immediately across all of your devices like your iPad or your MacBook Pro. Siri can be done with a double tap on one of the AirPods. I believe this works with any of them, but I'm not exactly sure where the spot is actually located in order to activate Siri. I'm still trying to figure out that exact spot, but once you do find it and you get Siri to work, you can use her to do just about anything you would on your iPhone. The most useful commands would be to skip the track or change the volume since inline controls are no longer available. That's kind of a bummer for someone like me who does not use Siri all too often but loves the controls on the regular earpods. What is useful, however, is once you remove one earpod from your ear while music is playing, it will automatically pause the current track or even a YouTube video. Put it back in your ear and everything starts back up again. Remove them both and the AirPods will disconnect from your device and turn off saving you precious battery life. Which is great, considering that although battery life is not as bad as some of the other wireless earbuds out there, it's still not great. In fact, Apple claims an industry leading five hours off one charge, which in reality is probably around three, three and a half. Which is still better than the other truly wireless earbuds that I have tested. The good news is that the case can charge these guys pretty quickly, so you're gonna wanna make sure you carry it around with you wherever you go. That kind of seems like a no-brainer because honestly, these things will be lost super easily if you don't put them back inside the case after each use. Finally, you might be wondering how these might sound, and to be honest, they are a much better version of your earpods. That's not necessarily a bad thing either because I actually love using the earpods. These definitely have a noticeable difference in the quality of music though compared to your lightning earpods, but overall, I think these sound fantastic. Sure, there are regular wireless earbuds out there, for this price that might sound way better, but if you really want to get a pair of completely wireless earbuds, these are the ones to get. Now I've only tested a few other wireless earbuds like these, the most notable ones being the Samsung Gear Icon X, which are actually $50 more expensive than these AirPods. I have also tested out a few that were right around the $60 to $100 range from companies like Raukin and Syllable. The syllable pair can be picked up for only $50, while the Raukin goes for a little over $100, and honestly, while they are both nicely made, and they do come with their own charging carrying case options, they don't even come close to touching the Gear Icon X or the AirPods. The Icon X have lots of features included when using the Gear app, like customizing certain workouts, and the ability to load music directly to your headphones so that you don't have to use your phone during a workout. But these features are more for those who are super active. If you want to use these for everyday use, they're not the best. Especially when it comes to battery life. If you have a long commute for work, it's possible that the Samsung Gear Icon X won't even make it through your one-way commute. Now, the Gear Icon X do sound pretty good, but that's after you get them to fit in your ear properly, which was a struggle in itself. That's why I'm concluding this video by saying that yes, the Apple AirPods are worth the $159 price tag, 
and that is if you really want a pair of truly wireless headphones. They sound great and they feel super comfortable during long periods of use. The only issues I have is the odd look that they have when sticking out of your ears. They kind of look like Q-tips. And of course, they are super easy to lose, but that kind of goes for all of these truly wireless headphones. As of right now, I've yet to find a pair of truly wireless earbuds that are better, but there are a couple of other ones out there that I have not yet tested that have had some high recommendations. Leave a comment down below if you want me to compare these AirPods to a specific set of earbuds and hit that like button too, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.